What's up YouTube, it's Shane Got You 11 and I'm bringing you the new patch update 1.16. It is pretty big, so you guys be prepared to download it and it'll take a while. But I am going to go over it. If you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button so you're notified for future tips and content and patch updates. All found on Shane Got You 11 channel. So let's get into it. Some of the key highlights is... Keenan Allen, which is a wide receiver for the Chargers, has been upgraded to Superstar X-Factor, replacing Antonio Brown. His X-Factors include Rack'em Up and slot Um, There's a lot of franchise news story updates. They've completely revamped the franchise news system. So franchise news has been completely revamped. They are putting more emphasis on big games between good teams, realistic reactions to interesting results from the week, the Super Bowl matchup, and more news posts per season. They, they've had functionality for rookies, equipped abilities in new and existing franchise leagues. So that's really, really cool, you guys. They did a lot on the franchise. So if you're a big-time franchise player, they hooked you guys up on this patch update, so they definitely were listening to people. Global updates, they did general stability and connective connection improvements, excuse me. So general stability and connection improvements, which I hope so because I thought it was my internet all of a sudden acting up from the last patch. And I had a technician come out and there's nothing wrong with my modem, there's nothing wrong with my internet. It was running at 500 Mbps. And I think it was from the last patch kind of screwed up the connection for me. So that's good that they're working on that. They fixed player and coach likeness updates for a lot of players. The list is available online. It goes from Titans tackle Lewin to the QB Giants QB Daniel Jones to um, Charger safety Adrian Phillips and such. They fixed uniforms for Vikings, Dolphins, Bills, Titans, Panthers, Eagles, Browns. They fixed stadium and field updates art for Colts, Browns, 49ers, Cowboys, Bears. Stadium details for Eagles, Ravens, Patriots, Cardinals, Lions, and Falcons. The high volume of changes to uniform stadiums and fields in this update has prevented EA from listing one out each individually. So we want to keep the notes brief. So that's pretty cool. So, I mean, they're updating a lot, you guys. Even more details on the franchise updates is they added full-on field control for offline franchises and face of the QB, or face of the franchise is, excuse me, QB1 leagues. They fixed an issue causing hidden development trait snap count to reset on the player card in leagues using the active roster option. They added the X-Factor database view to franchise mode, which allows players to see which superstars and X-Factors are on each team in the league, allowing players to scout their competition before game day. They added new league settings for minimum roster size and off-season roster cut limits. So, I mean, you guys, they really went in on Franchise League to try to fix it for you guys. They fixed an issue causing formations to be flipped in formation subs menu. They fixed an issue preventing the formation subscreens from updating when changing the playbook on the scheme screen. So, also you guys, they updated future Super Bowl stadiums and newly created leagues. From South Florida Hard Rock, Super Bowl 54, to 2021 Tampa Raymond Jones Stadium, 2022 LA LA, 2023 Glendale, 2024 New Orleans Mercedes-Benz Superdome. And, there, and it just goes on and on, you guys. They fixed an issue causing computer teams using 3-4 coach schemes to cut too many middle linebackers. Fixed an issue in the draft class editor with, where big players said skinny arms. I'm sorry, that was funny to me. Um, <laughs> uh, and they also broke out X-Factor defensive tackle. They broke out X-Factor linebacker, X-Factor defensive back in franchise mode when playing as a coach. All this stuff is coming out, which is really, really cool, you guys. New playoff content. Win one for the veteran. Under circumstances in coach mode, a team decides to ride around a veteran leader in the playoffs. Playoff clinch notification. In coach mode, a team is notified when they clinch a playoff berth. Playoff decision rest or momentum. In coach mode, if a user clinches a top seed before week 17, the user making a choice between resting his team or preserving momentum goes into the playoffs. 
And then other new content is preseason QB mentor and coach mode. A team with an older veteran QB has an opportunity to improve younger players on the ro roster. They also fix an issue preventing the kick meter from appearing late in games for franchise players when using longer quarter lengths. They say they've been working on it since launch. They're hoping that they fix the, the problem. They fix various commentary updates. They fix the X Factor loading screen and database update. They fix an issue causing the QB preplay speaker graphic to appear under players other than the QB. Gameplay updates, you guys. They improve sideline catching rules from two feet versus one foot inbounds. They improve pass leading abilities when throwing drag and crossing routes. They tune to improve picking up the ball off the ground for user control players, which is I like because sometimes it'd make me just run over it. Fixed a rare, itch, rare issue causing a catch knockout in the back of the end zone to lead to an incorrect touchback. They added functionality to tackle supreme and secure tackler abilities, allowing them to prevent broken tackles resulting from ball carrier special moves. In addition to the existing functionality, which prevents broken conservative and dive tackles, they tuned to decrease the frequency of face mask penalties. They improved catch animations to reduce specific cases of receivers failing to trigger a catch animation. I like that. Definitely like that. They fix an issue causing back foot inaccurate passes when trying to pass lead back towards the QB. They tune to reduce wins in stadiums with domes on competitive game style. They also tune to reduce successful hits by low rated players or scrambling QBs on competitive game style. So if you have low hit stick, you're not going to be able to hit stick really well. But you know what I, I hope is I didn't find it on the patch notes. I hope that they fix where people just cover up the ball and hold speed burst and don't lose any speed. I mean, that was ridiculous. They fixed a rare issue allowing an interception of a tip passenger and a QB spike. I didn't see that at all, but that's crazy. They improved cover three and cover four in zones. They fixed an issue preventing play results from the last play of a quarter from counting towards X-Factor knockout conditions. They fixed an issue sometimes causing the clock to keep running after the ball would hit the goalpost. That happened to me and cost me a game in salary cap earlier in the year. They tuned to better balance the read defender's behavior versus read option and RPO plays. So I think they're trying to fix it where people were just spamming Lamar Jackson or Michael Vick and the computer would dumb out even when you picked follow the QB. Uh, so I'm glad they did that. They fixed an issue causing progression through skills trainer gauntlet. I guess it was preventing people from finishing just kind of like last year when it dumbed out and that happened to me. Playbook updates. They updated Panthers defensive playbook from 4-3 to 3-4. They fixed an issue preventing the QB from handling the ball off to an RPO counterplay. They fixed an issue preventing the snap when spamming the reset play option. Fixed an issue causing the QB to drop back sideways on a QB spike. Fixed an issue causing a missed snap when flipping a jet sweep play. Fixed an issue causing a bad patch or bad pitch when using motion on reverse plays. And then ultimate team updates, they fixed an issue causing players to get an error message and sent to the main menu. And then they updated the superstar KO with new teams, new coaches, new playbooks, new strengths. So that's pretty cool. And then PC updates, they fixed an issue preventing the mouse functionality for arrow symbols. They fixed issues causing loss of controller. And they fixed several issues with mouse inputs. So you guys, it is a really big patch update. Um, hopefully you guys were able to last through it with me. I apologize if I stumbled over a couple things. But the thing that I don't see is that I wish is that I wish they would have fixed 146, patched it up a little bit. Um, I wish I would have seen that you can't speed burst and cover up the ball and not lose any speed. I wish I would have fixed that. I wish I would have saw that on the patch notes. Hopefully there was a, a quick glitch where if you did something, I won't say it wouldn't count as a loss that a lot of pros and a lot of people in the top 100 were doing so they wouldn't lose spots right when they knew they lost. They did something to make sure that the game wouldn't count so hopefully they fix that anyways you guys this is shane got you 11 i hope you liked it this was patch 1.16 update it was really big a lot of notes huge patch i told you guys about it on my podcast i have a guy that leaks information sometimes to me i can't say obviously who it was and yep we got a huge patch you guys so 
If you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button so you're notified for all this good stuff. Tips, content, and patch notes. Thank you.